G'day tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Stemia21 and today I'm bringing you a replay I just had, had the previous day in my T29. Um, we'll start the replay now. Um, I, I, as, as you've seen from my previous video on the T29, I do love this tank. Um, I'm almost at the point where... I want, I'm going to get rid of, well, I'll probably get rid of it, I'll probably get a new crew for it, and, um, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little sad, though, because I've loved this tank, and um, I've heard horror stories of the T-32, the tier 8 um, heavy tank for the Americans, um, it's not the same gun, obviously, and, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just a little bit pessimistic, and I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be awful, but, yeah, I'm still grinding credits at the moment for, for this, Upgrade. This, this, thing, this tank's been eluded for a while, I've just sort of held off because I've really enjoyed the tank and it's, a, it's actually a decent money maker as it does a nice amount of damage. And the shells, while a thousand, they're, they're not too bad. So, as you can see, we're on Fjords. Um, it's one of my favourite maps to be in a heavy because I normally or, almost always go down to the uh, J line where the heavies are supposed to camp. Just a shout out to my clanmate Nons, who's ended up on the other team here. We were just—I was playing solo one night, and um, that's, he was on the team. Um, looking like this, the, both teams are pretty balanced in terms of skill. Um, as you know, I keep um, win chance turned off because I hate it. Um, there's no point being told you're going to lose before you start. Why bother? Okay, so tier eight match, and we're in. Our tier seven. Um, just waiting a lot. Driving along here. I'm actually. I was actually very surprised that we didn't encounter anything at this point. I believe the only thing we encounter is a. I think a Sherman. I can't, I can't remember at the moment. I've should have watched this replay before I started commentating. This is a good match, though. It's very entertaining. It's a little bit slow at the start. It does, does get better. Uh, that's right, we see a Tiger too. We try to aim for his lower frontal plane, but I think we've aimed a bit too high there. He fires back, um, misses because we're just rocketing down the um, the hill. We're getting shot up by E25, I hate those little things, they're annoying. It's like a wasp, constantly stinging you. And the annoying thing about those things, they can, they can be firing and you can't see them, which means if you're in the open, get into cover. Nothing worse than taking shots from something you can't see. We put a nice hit into the Tiger 1 there. Tiger 1's armour is pretty um, paper, especially against this gun. It's not really a front line tank, in my opinion, the Tiger. We finish off the Tiger for 26 hit damage, the first kill. Uh, looks like we've got a team killer on our team, which is a bit sad. We've put a nice hit into that 110. I've been finding that 110s are quite dangerous. KB5 finishes off the 110. He's taking quite a beating there, I think, from the uh, Tiger 2 on the hill and also the E25, which I believe is in the same area. We're going to come around and try and take this uh, Chi 2. Put a nice man to him. He's destroyed by the IS6. We look for any shots up there, but there's none at the moment, so we're turning around and go for their cap. Oh no, sorry, I just realised um, we didn't go for the cap. We actually decided to go up the hill because the IS-6 requests our help. Um, I think about not ignoring him at first, but then um, I, I decide to go with my better judgement and go straight for the hill. Um, this will pay off, as you will see. So we're on one kill so far. We've done 978 damage, which isn't amazing. Um, but it's, it's, it's a good start. So, IS-6 is asking for our help, Gothic style. Shout out to him. Um, teams both about, both about even. Just a quick uh, mention about my mods here. Um, you'll probably notice in the top right hand corner there's a little damage um, to do in W and 8. If you're looking to improve, um, I found this tool's quite good because it shows you what sort of 
damage you're expected to do for an average player. So I always try and exceed that average. And I'll, I'll, I found that it really works when to play more cautiously and you end up having more fun because you're actually doing quite well. So... So we pop up here. We've loaded APCR because I believe we saw the 30 up here. And the 30 is quite dangerous. We're going to waste some of these shots. Unfortunately, on blind shots. I shouldn't have done that. I should have aimed in. There's the 30. We take on our turret armor. There's not much that can penetrate our turret armor at, at that range. Even though it's only like only 150 meters. Put a nice shot into the Ferdinand. We're going to put another one into him. That was almost a ricochet, actually, because um, if he kept turning, I would have dirt my shot into him. I, sh I could have blind fired here, but I don't like blind firing unless I know they're still there, like if they're tracked or something, or if they're a really slow tank. And the 30, while slow, he probably had enough speed to get moved somewhere else, so ISX is getting hammered here. But he's um, holding off the enemies to my left flank, which is what I need at the moment. And if I keep working them over, that's good. T44, we put a nice hit into him. I6 finishes off, uh, finishes him off, and then the uh, who finishes him off? The Ferdinand finishes him off. We finish off the Ferdinand. Ferdinand's got a very dangerous tier 10 gun, I believe. I think it's tier 10, or it's it's it's, it's, it's at least tier 9, but I'm pretty sure it's tier 10. That's if he was using the top gun. I couldn't see. We bounced the shot from the uh, Panzer Souffle 5, um, which is very lucky. So I don't think he was using the top gun. We finished him off. We were very lucky that that IS that the SU hit our turret, um, only doing 287 damage to us, and we uh, we didn't lose anything, which was really nice. Didn't even lose the gun. Um, we put a nice oh, round to him. He's dead now. So yeah, so far we're now on 4 kills, and we've done 2,751 damage. Um, at this point, there's 2 tanks versus 2. Um, there's still Nons out there with his little... Um, little cheat tank. Oh, I won't say cheat tank. Sky Cancer. <laughs> okay, so... I thought about coming around um, the long way, so going up along the A A8 and down the zero line. I decided not to, um, mainly because it'd probably take too long and my 110 buddy would die. Um, this E25, I, I actually really wanted Top Gun because I was, well, <laughs> who wouldn't want Top Gun? Um, we've got almost triple their, their HP left. As you can see from the top there, there's the, two, the ticket counter with the HPs left. The C25 was really, um, really good in terms of how he managed to keep it around me. He's a two shot at the moment, so unless I roll really high, Nons is just higher at me. So I decided, well, I'm gonna take care of him because if he gets a lucky hit, he might hurt me. I thought he might be there, so I took a blind shot. Um, it was a calculated risk. Um, didn't pay off. So we just, I've decided to reverse into the cap, keep my front armor aligned to the um, E25. I don't know why I'm facing my turret that way, but incidentally, there's Nons. And what he does, which I feel is a mistake, he backs up. Showing me the top of his tank. I put a round into him. As you can see, I've switched back to AP, because I know I can penetrate these tanks without really having to aim much. So, we've now got 5 kills and 3,031 damage. Poor Nons wasn't having a good night that night, he uh, was a little bit ragey. E25 puts a hit and ran to us. I just missed that um, E25, it's a bit sad. I decide to stuff this. Um, I'm leaving this uh, 110 in the cap. If I die, at least, he should be able to um, 
either kill the E25 or the E25 will just bugger off. The C25 does something I think is a bit silly. I mean, he was he'd lost already. I guess it was gracious that he um turn around fort and we've 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 got this now. We tracked him and he's has obviously got a repair kit. And there he goes. That's our top gun with three thousand four hundred and thirty five damage. And that's the replay. I thought that was really good. Um let's look at the post game stats. Well as you can see it was a victory. Um also a mastery badge. I've already got my mastery badge in this but it was nice to get another one. Um, as, as, as obvious, Top Gun also got 6 kills, got high calibre, which because we did so much damage, and nicely we got a steel wall, but I would say that's thanks thanks to the uh, E25 uh, pinging us for a number of hits. So, yeah, um, we got a, we didn't make much money because we fired a couple of premium rounds in that, so we only made 2,264 credits, um, experience, um, that was a times two, so we got 4,388. Um, unfortunately, this was during a times three thing, and I forgot um, about that, so it meant yeah, that I didn't get my times three, because I already played a times two. It sucks, but that's okay. Hit percentage, we did quite well of shooting, 78.95. Um, um, damage assistance, we didn't get that much damage assistance. Um, and we did 3,435 of our own damage. Um, as you can see, we've got top experience. We've got 14, uh, 1,400, over 1,400, which is nice. Um, these these couple of guys here, they did quite well. Um, unfortunately, um, it, unfortunately, I turned up and ruined their day, which uh, I'm very sorry for. Um, yeah. Where's my clan mate? Nons, he did quite well considering it was a tier 8 game. This, I, I've never seen an FE3 or 4 done doing that well on a tier 8 game. It just doesn't seem to do that well um, at this level, but I don't know, it might. Uh, I think I think it's the artillery. Just, I don't know if it's if it plays well at tier, tier 8. Tier 7 I've seen it do well, and tier 6 I've definitely seen it do well, but not at tier 8. I think there's just too much armour for it to pin. Um, yeah, so, shots fired, 19, 15 hit, and 14 penetrate, which was nice. No space damage, as, of course, got 3,435 damage. Hits received, 16 of those, of which penetrated, 12 penetrated, and 4 were bounces. Um, damage blocked on my armour, 1,550, which is, um, two. 300 over our health, which, um, that's blocked, which is nice. Um, enemy vehicle spotted, we spotted one, but we're not scouts, so it doesn't matter. Damage 9, 9 out of the 15 we damaged, which is nice. Damage caused to work due to my assistance, or 25, not much at all. Distance travelled 200, uh, 2, sorry, 200, 2.57 kilometres, which is nice. Um, yeah, and... You can see I, I I spent a lot on ammunition. Uh, doesn't matter. I I don't tend to earn a lot of money anyway because um, I'm mucking around at the moment. I I need to start grinding credits if I want to start buying some high tier tanks. I've almost done unlocked the uh, M46 Pers uh, Pershing um, pattern as well, which I'm really excited for because um, I, I really like the look of the tank and I like the fact that it's got a higher DPN gun than the Pershing. Um, other than that, that was um, that was really good. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I, I hope to have uh, another video up soon with it in my IS3. It's an old replay from um, several months ago, but I've been meaning to put it up. But I haven't had the time. Um, hopefully, I'll work on it today at some time. If I get time, if not, I'll do it tomorrow. And have it up for Monday. Um, other than that, I think that's all I've got to say. Um, Anyway, well, I'll see you later, guys. Uh, take care and have fun. See you later.